Hello everybody, this is Optimus Brit here. Thank you very much for watching. This is going to be a how-to video on how to take on naval battles within Port Royal 3 and also how to execute them well. It's going to be a live commentary as well, so you can expect whatever I'm doing in-game to be actually what I'm doing. Firstly, we're in the third quest, I believe, to find the pirates and we have to locate where those are. And we have the information that they are they are located offshore and uh, I've just found it there so for you if you just Corpus Christi there and it's just right there okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna right click now to attack the pirate ship if I can get on him right there we go you'll be brought up with this um, UI you can see here the sailors compared to their sailors the cannons compared to theirs and then the overall attack power versus theirs so manual or automated manual you'll be commanding the naval battle automated it will be like a simulation and the outcome will be decided by the computer based on these stats in the middle. So we're going to go on manual and we're just going to, I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the UI. Okay, so firstly at the top you've got your different types of cannonballs. First you've got your standard cannonball which has got infinity amount of uses. You can use it as many times as you want. Then you've then got your chain ball. I'm just going to turn down the sound just in case it's a bit too loud for you guys because I that, know that was the problem last time so I wouldn't want that to happen again to you guys. So that's done. Okay, so the second is the chain ball. And then finally you've got the canister shot. Now all of these cannibals have different effects on the enemy ship. Chain shot I believe takes more damage to the sailor and the canister shot does more damage to the mast in the centre which will reduce the speed. Um, as you can see on my ship I've got the blue bar which is the amount of sailors that are currently on my ship. Also you've got this which I do believe has a direct effect on the motion of your ship and then you've got its life points there until when that runs to zero your ship will be destroyed. Now even if you have zero sailors this means you can still fire cannibals. The only problem with sailors is that if you get too low then the reload speed of your cannonballs will become less so if I fire a shot when I can get in range so if I just turn also with moving controls hold down the right button to steer your ship and then spacebar to make time lapse faster so like that and if I take the shot now with the enemy ship if I just locate attack and then simply if this works press this left click button to fire now you can see it recharging there the less sailors you have on your ship, the slower that will be. So left click again to fire and you can see it's reducing many of his stats overall. So again, if I fire, you can see that it's getting weaker and weaker. Now, when this turns zero, their ship, will, their motion will stop completely. They can still fire, but the motion will just completely finish. As you can see, based on the amount of ships you have, they'll have their own battle on their own. You can only choose to control one ship at a time, but yes, you can alternate ships, so that's nothing to worry about there. As you can see, you have a list of all your ammunitions that you have left. As you can see, I don't have any chain ball shots left. I have 152 canister shots, and these are the ammo for the crew members, well, the utensils, basically. So, just another quick overview. Co moving controls are as followed. Right click to maneuver the sh ship. Left click to fire at the enemy ship you must be in close proximity at the top you have your cannonball your chain your chain shot and your canister shot and then at the side boarding mode when you get so close to their ship you can then latch on to them and then your crew will jump onto theirs and cause havoc and then you've got your list of your ships and their health and their sailors and cannons your mini map at the top to locate the enemy and where your friendly ships are as you can see you can just move by clicking on these and that's pretty much it guys, apart from the time lapse where spacebar comes in handy. Now as you can see, the battle has been won, your results will show here, what's happened to your ship, the damage to your ship, the damage to your sailors, and at the bottom it will say whether you can plunder the pirate ship or the enemy ship for gold and other loot, and if not, well then you don't get anything. So thank you very much guys for watching, I hope this has been a better sound quality than the others, please go easy on me as I am still new to the gaming commentary but thank you very much make sure to check out the channel and subscribe and throw a like guys it helps so much and thank you all for the support so far so this has been your captain Optimus Brit I look forward to seeing you very soon guys thank you very much